116. The sacred four are Unity A. B. Father Mahadeva, Son, Vishnu, First Logos, Second Logos, Duality, Will, Love Wisdom, Trinity, C. Mother Brahma, Third Logos, Spirit, Intelligent Activity, Sacred Four, D. 2. A. 540. B. C. 3. A. B. E. The United Manifestation of the Three Macrocosm. The manifested quaternary and the seven builders proceed from the Mother. S. D. E. I. 402. The seven builders are the Manasaputras, the mind-born sons of Brahma, the third aspect. S. D. 3. They come into manifestation to develop the second aspect. S. D. I. 108. Their method is objectivity. The reawakened energies sprang into space. They are the veiled synthesis. They are the totality of manifestation. S. D. I. 362. S. D. I. 470. They are precosmic. S. D. I. 152. 470. 42 A T R E A T I S E O N C O S M I C F I R E T A B U L A T I O N I I N T R O V U C T O R Y R E M A R K S 43 First is latent heat. This is the basis of rotary motion and the cause of the spheroidal coherent manifestation of all existence. From the logoic atom, the solar ring pass not, down to the minutest atom of the chemist or physicist. Second, as active heat. This results in the activity and the driving forward of material evolution. On the highest plane the combination of these three factors, active heat, latent heat and the primordial substance which they animate, is known as the of fire, of which Akasha is the first differentiation of genetic matter. Akasha, in manifestation, expresses itself as Fohat, or divine energy, and Fohat on the different planes is known as ether, air, fire, water, electricity, ether, prana, and similar terms. 91011 it is the sum total. 9 Akasha Definition It is the synthesis of ether. It is the essence of ether. It is primordial ether. It is the third logos in manifestation. 10 H P B defines the Akasha in the following terms. S D 2 538 S D I 353 35 S D I 366 S D I 585 S D I 377 S D 2 538 Akasha the Astro Light can be defined in a few words. It is the universal soul, the matrix of the universe, the mysterium magicum from which all that exists is born by separation or differentiation. In the various occult books it is called by different terms and it would be of value perhaps if we enumerate some of them here. There is one universal element with its differentiation. Homogeneous. 1. Indifferentiated cosmic substance. 2. Primordial ether. 3. Primordial electric entity. 4. Akasha. 5. Super astral light. 6. Fiery soul.
serpent. Seven, Muraprakriti. Eight, Regenetic matter. Differentiated. One, Astrolite. Two, Sea of fire. Three, Electricity. Four, Prakrita. Five, Atomic matter. Six, The serpent of evil. Seven, Ether, with its four divisions. Air, fire, water, earth. Eleven Bohat is divine thought or energy, Shakti, is manifested on any plane of the cosmos. It is the interplay between spirit and matter. The seven differentiations of Bohat are 1. The plane of divine life, Adi. 2. The plane of monadic life, 3. The plane of spirit, 4. The plane of the intuition, 5. The plane of mind, 6. The plane of desire, sea of fire, Anupadaka, Atma, Buddy, Mental, Astral, Air, Fire, Akasha, Ether, Astral Light, 7. The plane of density, physical, ether, S, D, I, 105, 134, 135, 136. 44 ATRE ATISCONCOSMICFIRE Of that which is active, animated, or vitalized, and of all that concerns itself with the adaptation of the form to the needs of the inner flame of life. It might here be useful to point out that magnetism is the effect of the divine ray and manifestation in the same sense that electricity is the manifested effect of the primordial ray of active intelligence. It would be well to ponder on this for it holds hidden mystery. The fires of the mental plane also demonstrate in a twofold manner. First, as the fire of mind, the basis of all expression and in one peculiar occult sense the sum total of existence. It provides the relation between the life and the form, between spirit and matter, and is the basis of consciousness itself. Second, as the elementals of fire, or the sum total of the active expression of thought, showing itself through the medium of those entities who, in their very essence, are fire itself. These dualities of expression make the four necessary factors in the Logoic Quaternary, L2 or the lower nature of the Logos viewing his manifestation from one esoteric angle, exoterically, they are the sum total of the Logoic Quaternary, plus the Logoic Fifth Principle, Cosmic Mind. The divine spark does not as yet manifest, as do the other two fires, as a duality, though what lies hidden in a later cycle, evolution alone will disclose. This third fire, along with the other two, make the necessary five of logoic evolutionary development and by its perfected merging with the other two fires is the Evolutionary process proceeds as seen the goal of logoic attainment for this greater cycle or period of this solar system. Twelfth the quaternary is composed of the four lower principles and the sheets in which they manifest as a coherent unit, being held together during manifestation by the life force of the indwelling entity. I-N-T-R-O-D-U-C-T-O-R-Y-R-E-M-A-R-K-S-45 When the primordial ray of intelligent activity, the divine ray of intelligent love, and the third cosmic ray of intelligent will meet, blend, merge, and blaze forth, the Logos will take his fifth initiation, thus completing one of his cycles. When the rotary, the forward, and the spiral cyclic movements are working in perfect synthesis, 
Then the desired vibration will have been reached. When the three laws of economy, of attraction, and of synthesis work with perfect adjustment to each other, then nature will perfectly display the needed functioning, and the correct adaptation of the material form to the indwelling spirit, of matter to life, and of consciousness to its vehicle. 2. Fire in the microcosm. Let us briefly consider therefore the correspondence between the greater whole and the unit man and then block out our subject in detail and consider the sections into which it will be wise to divide it. Fire in the microcosm is likewise threefold in essence and fivefold in manifestation. 1. There is internal vitalizing fire, which is the correspondence to fire by friction. This is the sum total of individual Kundalini. It animates the corporeal frame and demonstrates also in the twofold manner. First, as latent heat which is the basis of life of the spheroidal cell, or atom, and of its rotary adjustment to all other cells. Second, as active heat or prana, this animates all, and is the driving force of the evolving form. It shows itself in the four ethers and in the gaseous state, and the correspondence is here found on the physical plane in connection with man to the akasha and its fivefold manifestation on the plane of the solar system. This fire is the basic vibration of the little system in which the monad or human spirit is the logos, and it 46 A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E Folds the personality or lower material man in objective manifestation thus permitting the spiritual unit to contact the plane of densest matter. It has its correspondence in the ray of intelligent activity and is controlled by the law of economy in one of its subdivisions, the law of adaptation in time. 2. There is next the fire or spark of mind which is the correspondence in man to solar fire. This constitutes the thinking self-conscious unit or the soul. This fire of mind is governed by the law of attraction as is its greater correspondence. Later we can enlarge on this. It is this spark of mind in man, manifesting a spiral. Cyclic activity, which leads to expansion and to his eventual return to the center of his system, the monad the origin and goal for the reincarnating Jiva or human being. As in the macrocosm this fire also manifests in a twofold manner. It shows as that intelligent will which links the monad or spirit with its lowest point of contact, the personality, functioning through a physical vehicle. It likewise demonstrates, as yet imperfectly, as the vitalizing factor in the thought forms fabricated by the thinker. As yet with few thought forms, comparatively, can be said to be constructed by the center of consciousness, the thinker, the ego. Few people as yet are in such close touch with their higher self, or ego, that they can build the matter of the mental plane into a form which can be truly said to be an expression of the thoughts, purpose or desire of their ego, functioning through the physical brain. Most of the thought forms at present in circulation may be said to be aggregations of matter, built into form with the aid of kama manas, or of desire faintly tinged with mind producing thus an admixture of astral and mental matter, mostly astral and largely due to reflex elemental action. These dualities of expression are 1. Active fire or prana I-N-T-R-O-V-U-C-T-O-R-Y-R-E-M-A-R-K-S-47 Latent fire or bodily heat 2. Mental
altogether spiritual nor altogether material. 3. Finally there is the monadic flame divine. This embodies the highest vibration of which the monad is capable, is governed by the law of synthesis, and is the cause of the forward progressive movement of the evolving jiva. When you come, in due course, to the point of merging or to the end of manifestation, and to the consummation viewing it monadically of the great cycle or manvantara, what shall we therefore find? Just as in the macrocosm the blending of the three essential fires of the cosmos mark the point of logoic attainment, so, in the blending of the essential fires of the microcosm, we arrive at the apotheosis of human attainment for this cycle. When the latent fire of the personality or lower self blends with the fire of mind, that of the higher self, and finally merges with the divine flame, then the man takes the fifth initiation in this solar system, and has completed one of his greater cycles. L3 when the three blaze forth is one fire, liberation from matter, or from material form is achieved. Matter has been correctly adjusted to spirit, and finally the indwelling life slips forth out of its sheath which forms now only a channel for liberation. 13 These terms, lower self, higher self, divine self, are apt to be conned. 48 A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E 3. Fire in Manifestation To continue our consideration of the fires which sustain the economy of the visible solar system, and of the visible objective human being, which produce evolutionary development, and which are the bases of all objective efflorescence, it must be noted that they demonstrate as the sum total of the vital life of a solar system, of a planet, of the entire constitution of active functioning man upon the physical plane, and of the atom of substance. Speaking broadly we would say that the first fire deals entirely with A, B, C, activity of matter, the rotary motion of matter, the development of matter by the means of friction, under the law of economy. HPV touches on this in the secret doctrine, L4. The second fire, that from the cosmic mental plane, deals with A, B, C, the expression of the evolution of mind or manas, the vitality of the soul. The evolutionary expression of the soul as it shows forth in the form of that elusive something which brings about the synthesis of matter. As the two merge by means of this active energizing factor, that which is turned consciousness appears. the student apprehends the various synonyms connected with them. The following table may be found helpful. Father, Spirit, Life, Monad, Divine Self, Spirit, The Point, Monad, Sun, Ego, Soul, Consciousness, Higher Self, Individuality, The Triad, Solar Angel, Mother, form, body, personality, lower self, personal self, the quaternary, lunar lords, 14 CS, E, I, 169, 562, 567, 569, 2, 258, 390, 547, 551, 552. 15 is a study of consciousness. Method. Lesson says, page 37, consciousness is the 
existence becomes ever more perfected. The, the, the operation of this fire under the law of attraction. The subsequent result in the spiral cyclic movement which we call, within the system, solar evolution, but which from the standpoint of a cosmos is the approximation of our system to its central point. This must be, Considered from the standpoint of time point one six, the third fire deals with A. The evolution of spirit. Practically nothing can at this stage be communicated in endless evolution. The development of spirit can be only expressed as yet in terms of the evolution of matter, and only through the adequacy of the vehicle, and through the suitability of the seat. The body or form can the point out. It follows from which that any reality found anywhere is drawn from consciousness. Hence, everything which is thought is that consciousness in which everything is, everything literally, possible, as well as actual, actual being that which is thought of as existent by a separated consciousness in time and space, and possible all that which is not so being thought of at any period in time and any point in space we call absolute consciousness. It is the all, the eternal, the infinite, the changeless. Consciousness, thinking time and space, and of all forms as existing in them in succession and in places, is the universal consciousness, the one, called by the Hindu the Sabuna Brahman the eternal with attributes the Pratyagatma the inner self, by the Parsi, Hormuz, by the Musulman, Allah. Consciousness dealing with a definite time, however long or short, with a definite space, however vast or restricted, is individual, that of a concrete being, a lord of many universes, or a universe or of any so-called portion of a universe, his portion and to him therefore a universe these terms varying as to extent with the power of the consciousness, so much of the universal thought as a separate consciousness can completely think, i.e., on which he can impose his own reality, can think of his existing life himself, is his universe. Quote, 16 Universal Consciousness, Manifesting as Consciousness in Time and Space, as Mrs. Besant so ably expresses it, includes all forms of activity and spiral cyclic evolution from the standpoint of cosmic evolution, and in terms of absolute consciousness, may again be rotary. 50. A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E -E on cosmic fire. Spiritual development reached in any way be praised. A word of warning should here be interpolated. Just as it is not possible upon the physical plane for the physical vehicle fully to express the total point of development of the ego or higher self, so it is not possible even for the ego fully to sense and express the quality of spirit. Hence the utter impossibility for human consciousness justly to appraise the life of the spirit or monad. The working of the flame divine under the law of synthesis a generic term which will be seen eventually to include the other two laws of subdivisions. C. The subsequent result of forward progressive motion a motion which is rotary, cyclic and progressive. The whole matter dealt with in this treatise concerns the subjective essence of the solar system, not primarily either the objective 
subjective or spiritual aspect. It concerns the entities who indwell the form, who demonstrate as animating factors through the medium of matter, and primarily through etheric matter, who are evolving a second faculty, the fire of mind, and who are essentially themselves points of fire, cast off through cosmic friction, produced by the turning of the cosmic wheel, swept into temporary limited manifestation and do eventually to return to their central cosmic center. They will return plus the results of evolutionary growth, and through assimilation they will have intensified their fundamental nature, and be spiritual fire plus the fire manasic. The internal fire of matter is called in the secret doctrine, fire by friction. It is an effect and not a cause. It is produced by the two fires of spirit and of mind, electric and solar fire, contacting each other through the medium of matter. apart from substance itself. Let us now briefly recognize certain facts regarding fire and matter and let us take them in order, leaving time to elucidate their significance. First we might say that the internal fire being both latent and active, shows itself as the synthesis of the acknowledged fires of the system, and demonstrates, for instance, as solar radiation and interplanetary combustion. This subject has been somewhat covered by science, and is hidden in the mystery of physical plane electricity, which is an expression of the active internal fires of the system and of the planet just as inner combustion is an expression of the latent internal fires. These latter fires are to be found in the interior of each globe, and are the basis of all objective physical life. Secondly, we might note that the internal fires are the basis of life in the lower three kingdoms of nature, and in the fourth or human kingdom in connection with the two lower vehicles. The fire of mind, when blended with the internal fires, is the basis of life in the fourth kingdom, and united they control partially now and later entirely, the lower threefold man or the personality, this control lasts up to the time of the first initiation. The fire of spirit finally, when blended with the two other fires, which blending commences in man at the first initiation, forms a basis of spiritual life or existence. As evolution proceeds in the fifth or spiritual kingdom, these three fires blaze forth simultaneously, producing perfected consciousness. This blaze results in the final. 52-A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E Purification of matter and its consequent adequacy, at the close of manifestation it brings about eventually the destruction of the form and its dissolution, and the termination of existence is understood on the lower planes. 